This show is so addictive. From the first episode, I couldn't stop watching, oh, no and I've been right. like, thinking about it ever since. I'm like hoping that there's going to be many more seasons. Right. Oh, if it, We're so us glad. too. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we love doing it. You know, I would it's love a lot to get back to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had a blast. Now you two come from very different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. You did Broadway, like yeah. a big Broadway show like Hamilton, yeah, and you've yeah, done yeah. a big TV show like Game of Thrones. What was the biggest difference in doing the Umbrella Academy in Toronto from your previous productions? Go ahead. Oh. You, you, go ahead uh. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, the biggest difference is, is when you're doing a musical or a play or anything that's on the stage, after every scene or song, people applaud your work. <laughs> um, doesn't happen so much in television. <laughs> Just that, that eerie silence after Just you like, finish a tape. Was I bad? Did I not? Yeah, why aren't they clapping? Hello? Is anyone out there? Um, no, no, no. I, uh, I, I think the, the biggest difference for me was the, um, you know, you do a scene once. You do it many, many times that day, but um, and then you move on and you never have to go back to it. Whereas in theater, you do for three, you know, three hours or less. You do a beginning and middle and an end of a play or a musical. You know the whole story. It's the same every night, and you do it eight times a week, um, and it doesn't change until you don't want to do it anymore, or your contract ends, or you move on to another show, or whatever. Um, so I think that was the biggest. Um, cause I kind of now instilled in me have this work ethic of like, just keep going, keep going, keep going and do it and go and go and go and go and go. And, um, I think the, the hurry up and wait and the, um, the doing a scene a couple, a couple times and then moving on to the next one and then never circling back. Um, that was kind of the biggest, the biggest difference for me. Cause I, you know, I, I, I do believe that the work is the same. You have an intention, you have a story to tell, you have a beginning, a middle and an end with TV. You might not know it because you know, when you're filming the pilot, they haven't written the 10th episode yet. So you don't know where you're going. Whereas in a play, mm. you know the whole story before you even start rehearsals. Um, so that also was another, another difference. There's so many, but I think <laughs> I could go on for ages, but, um, <laughs> Yeah, I think the the work is the same. The scale is what changes. Right. Um, what was uh, the biggest thing for me was I was well, I was looking for something. My next project, I wanted it to be something that was uh, not like Dungeons and Dragons style, you know, or period. I wanted to see, do something that was, um, or certainly not period in the terms of like you know, Black Sails or Game of Thrones, you know, like swords and all that stuff. Uh, so I was looking swords. for something swords and all that stuff. Such you know. a boy. Um, yeah, I mean, I've done a lot of it. You know, I love doing that stuff, but I wanted to do, do try something different. And um, one of those th the things that I was looking for was something that was uh, a different kind of costume that I didn't have like this big elaborate costume. And then I get Luther, uh, who <laughs> has this incredible bodysuit that he has to put on every day. Um, so when I signed on to Umbrella, it was the perfect thing for me because it was, I, I loved, loved the idea of a superhero, but I wanted the superhero that has so much more depth than some of these superhero shows um, in terms of a character, you know. So, uh, yeah, so I, the, the biggest thing for me was, was trying to learn how to be Luther in this suit. And it actually ended up making me feel even better, this suit, because it made me feel who Luther really was. And he's awkward in this body and he doesn't want to be in this body. And, that was, uh, it was an interesting learning curve for me to try and like fight in this thing. It was very different. What was the audition process like? Did you have to do a lot of auditions before you found out that you got the role? Uh, I initially sent in a self tape and then uh, four and a half months went by and I got a call out of, and I completely forgotten about it. I was, you know, bummed because I was like, oh, that was the, one of the best pilot scripts that I'd written, or written. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> like, I didn't know you were the writer. Very good. Surprise. Very good writing, yeah. <laughs> um, I had read, you know, that whole season and so I was so excited to, to read it and, you know, would have loved to have been a part of it. And then four and a half months went by and I didn't hear anything. And then I got a call out of nowhere that was like, hey, they want to test you for the Umbrella Academy tomorrow. And so I went in and had my screen test. And then like three days later, I found out I got it. So it was a pretty, once the ball was rolling, it was very quick. But there was, you know, four and a half months in between there of, of utter silence. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very fortunate because, um, you know, luckily for me, Steve was familiar with some of my previous work and stuff. So he... He said, you know, I, we had a, a Skype conversation. I'd send an uh, initial, just an initial sort of tape um, to, to show him, you know, how, what I thought Luther was and everything. And uh, yeah, we had a, a really great call over Skype. You know, I was in my kitchen in, in the UK and uh, as Steve Blackman 
telling me about the Umbrella Academy, and he was, you know, describing this show of what it was going to be. And uh, I sort of told him what I felt Luther was and what I wanted to bring to Luther. And uh, it was great. It was, it was what I sort of wanted it to be. It was very organic. And um, he told me that he'd like me to do it. And that was that, really. It was, it was great, yeah. What did you like best about filming right here in Toronto? Oh, multiple things. I know. I, 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 I will say, I, w I will actually say our crew oh. was unbelievable. Yeah. Our, our Toronto film crew was so unreal and they went Just above and beyond like every horses, day. And I, our show looks the way that it looks for, because of so many people, but like it started with the crew here and what they did every day. And so that was really their know passion. Them, yeah. you know, they, they loved the show. They yeah. really had a, a passion for the show from yeah. the off. And it felt like every time we did a scene and every time we did a shot, you know, they were right there with us. Oh, you yeah. know, it felt very present and no one checked out. It was mm -hmm. great. Um, but also, like, I, I think Toronto is a city, you know, because it has such an, an intense winter but then has this amazing summer mm -hmm. it's like kind of two different cities yeah so in the winter i was like out playing like ice hockey and stuff and then like in the in the summer we're out in the parks like running around Music and like playing frisbee and stuff mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah 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 it's it's, it's yeah. got so much to offer and we were on location a lot so we got to see so many different neighborhoods we were out in hamilton and downtown and yeah. and the food the food's amazing yeah, yeah, food it's great. great shout out to impact kitchen you know who you are <laughs> <laughs> Now, the siblings in this show have a dysfunctional relationship, but they also have a really strong bond. Mm -hmm. Which of the cast members did you feel the strongest bond to? Oh, well, this one. <laughs> um, but the, the, the thing is, what I love about this cast is that I think we we both agree with this, that we all have an individual relationship oh, with yeah. everyone that's oh, yeah. very special, mm -hmm. and like, we have your own special bond. Yeah. And then you have the group. Yeah. And we all kind of complement each other as a group as well. So it kind of like the show in a weird way, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and that's what's so nice about it, that I can hang out with each and every one of them as an individual. Mm -hmm. And we can go and get coffee, go get food, and just get on like a house on fire, but in very what? different ways. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I'm saying? Is that not, is that not, not Get it, on like a house on fire. House yeah. on fire, do you know what I'm saying? No. Oh yeah, that's a, yeah. Take the mick. Take the yeah, mick. Yeah, so I'm learning, teaching all of my British <laughs> sayings. I didn't, which I didn't know were British sayings. They're very um, British sayings. Get so on yeah, like, get, a house on like a house on fire. Yeah. It feels dangerous. It does feel dangerous, yeah. Mm -hmm. I never actually broke it down that much. But uh, yeah, so it, as, as individuals, it's great. You know, we can all have that. But as a group, we it's weird, right? Like, well, we like get on so well. Well, like yesterday, we were super delayed getting here, and we were trapped on the plane for two and a half hours. And there was five of us on the plane, and we had the best, like, yeah. I forgot that we were not in the air, because we were just annoying everyone yeah, else in first all, class, all carrying on around. like no one else was around. Yeah. yeah, we just all get on so, so well. And, and it, it truly are so lucky, so, so lucky to have a cast where everyone, the work is what's important, and, and everyone is here to do the show justice and do their job and, and be open and there's no ego and, and just put everything out on the table and have fun. And I think that um, that spirit carried through like the whole time we were here yeah. shooting. And, and that follow into, into the crew, after, right? Yeah, oh yeah. And it's just carried on after, you know, when we get to do, you know, press together and, mm. and premieres, it's like, we're so excited to see each other again. It's not like, oh God, I gotta, gotta hang, hang out with my again. <laughs> <laughs> And I have to say it carries out to the audience too. Like we can oh, see good. that. Great, yeah. that's great. Good. And finally, I just want to ask you, what would you like to see happen in a second season? Oh man. Oh. I would like to see a second season, first yeah. of all. <laughs> and a third and a that would be amazing. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's, the, the idea of this show is so great because I sort of think the first season is just the tip of the iceberg. We've oh, only yeah. just started to see who these characters are. And from here, because of all the powers that they have, like particularly like number five and people like that who have powers that can transition into different worlds, I think mm -hmm. where this show can go is so vast. Um, the, the journey that we could go on over multiple seasons, not alone season two, you know, we can really see what, what can happen in the show. Yeah. yeah. I think I would love to, because I spent, Allison is a, we are all a family of superheroes and Allison spent an entire season not using her power. I think I would love to deep dive into what her, like rediscovering her power and kind of trying to to fix her. If her, she gets a voice. Her, yeah, I, know. I know. If she's even taught. Yeah, actually, first and foremost, I'd like to talk again. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. How did I forget? I know, yeah. Such <laughs> a traumatic experience. I really pushed it, <laughs> <It's pretty laughs> pushed it deep. Don't think about it. 
Well, thank you so much for talking of to me course. today. I hope to see a second, third, fourth, more seasons oh, because I just enjoyed it so much. I want to see so much more of it. Oh, That's great. So thank you so much. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.